As a country with a very long cultural history, China has many relics from the past that are well preserved today. One of them is the Tulo, a large circular building similar to a fortress that can accommodate up to 800 people. Tulo are made of a mixture of clay, lime, stone and bamboo, with a thickness of 1.8 to 3 meters. Uniquely, even though it was built using traditional materials without iron and concrete, Tulo still has a very good level of resistance. This building was designed to be resistant to earthquakes and from attacks by invaders. In fact this building is arranged between 3 and 5 floors with a height of up to 21 meters. Usually the first floor functions as a kitchen and dining room. The second floor as a grocery store. Then the third and fourth floors as bedrooms. This building also has very good lighting. When the winter Tula will feel warm. And vice versa when the summer this building will provide coolness to its inhabitants. In the middle of the circular building there is a small building that functions as a hall to honor the ancestors, as a hall for meetings, weddings, worship, funerals and so on. Generally Tulo only have one gate made of wood 4 to 5 inches thick which functioned as a form of defense. In times of war the people who inhabit this building will stand guard around the gate to anticipate enemy attacks. Even though times are modern, where the function of defense is no longer needed, those who live in Tulo still maintain traditional building styles to maintain the spirit of culture and tradition. Tulo are thought to have existed since the Song Dynasty, between 960 and 1279, or about 800 years ago and still exist today, especially in the provinces of Fujian and Guangxi. This building was erected by the Hakka ethnic minority when they migrated from central China to the mountainous regions of the southeast. Since then, Tulo has maintained the same style until conflicts with other people around it led to the development of Tulo which also functioned as a fortress. While the origins of the Hakka people themselves are not widely known, it is believed that like many Han people in general, their ancestors came from the Yellow River region in northern China. It's just that, unlike other tribes they have lived migratory for the past 1000 years. The Hakka people often migrate from one place to another because of desire or need where most of them choose to live in Fujian province which is in southeast China with Build Tulo. For hundreds of years the local people managed to keep the Tulo tradition alive. They made Tulo a place to live and protected themselves from invaders who tried to take the land of the Hakka people. However, in the modern era, Tulo has added its function to become a favorite tourist destination in the Fujian area. According to local government reports, Tulo received a total of 11.82 million tourists in 2019 and generated tourism revenue of 13.46 billion yuan or around 1.96 billion US dollars. And because of its very strong ties to history, 
In 2008, there were around 46 tulos that were named as World Heritage Sites protected by UNESCO.